All right, hey guys, how's it going? It's all the Angry Nerd here today, and um, for the third fucking time, I need to restart this goddamn Let's Play. Sorry about it, I would have had this out by now, but I had to restart it three times. Resident Evil. Fucking piss off. Well, that's fine. That's fine too. And today we're gonna be Chris. Cool looking Chris. Um, I had to restart this three times because my uh, Comesta Studio wouldn't let me use the other two things. I thought I had it at MP4 the whole time, but it didn't. So I wasn't going to upload something without, you know, being able to shorten down the time. <sighs> and all that shit, so. Uh. Alpha Fuck team is flying I'm around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City. Watch this for the fifth fucking time. We're searching for the of our compatriots. Bravo Fuck team. Whatever, I got some. You disappeared. Got some fucking. Got some ignition. chips right here. You're gonna fucking watch this again. Need some chips. Bizarre murder cases have Don't recently occurred in Raccoon City. About this. There are outlandish off. reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims oh, game's amazing. were apparently eaten. Love Resident Evil. One the Bravo team was sent in made. to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris. The only disappointing part is that they changed the voice acting. Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Nom nom nom. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Gee, that's pretty loud out there. Yeah, I might actually get up and close my door. Be right back, people. I've seen this like five times, but um, it's a great game. Great opening. Um, if you guys haven't noticed that this is the Xbox One version, that's pretty much a remake. Or not a remake, it's a remastered edition of the GameCube version. So it's pretty cool. Sorry about that, that was the chips hitting the mic. I'll be back for a second. <laughs> Alright, it's still not done. Now we're entering survival horror land. There are only three <coughs> stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry If you play this as Jill, Chris wouldn't be there. Barry would be there. Jill would be like, oh, where's right? Chris? Barry. Where's Barry? He's... He's not dead. No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Yeah, Jill yeah, and I yeah. will stay Shut and up. secure <laughs> this area. Chris, take care. God, I, I don't get yeah. why 
Resident Evil, uh, or the newest Resident Evil, Resident Evil 5 or whatever. Or not the newest, but you know what I mean, like, the new age Resident Evil, why they made Jill, like, look so different. She doesn't look bad, you know what I mean? Like, it made her HD, but I, I liked her old self better, like, with the beret and the big elbow pads. Sorry, we're just gonna fucking get in here and we're gonna speed run the shit out of it. I had to fucking see this scene like fucking 30 times already. That would knife the shit out of you, but you know what? You're not even worth it. We're just gonna speed run it hard. The difference between this part and Jill's, Jill would be saved by Barry if you ran all the way back. For for us, or for me, like, as Chris, pretty much I just go back there and you'll see. I know this part off by heart, so I'm gonna fucking speed run it really quick. Wesker? Jill? And yes, I'm playing it on the Xbox One, so Where sorry about that. Yeah, there we go, get the Samurai's Edge. Whatever, not a millimeter pistol, I, I don't care, it's a handgun, it looks like the fucking Samurai's Edge. We're gonna take a nice, good, in-deep look at this. Look at that fucking gun. Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, look at that, oh. Boom! Look at that! Yeah! Oh, that's great. This gun's fucking sick. Oh, yeah, no, I, I didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah, and there's the other view. Love how they put the animation and everything there for that. Alright, so here we go. I'm gonna speed run it real quick. And the difference between playing as Jill and Chris is that Chris isn't carried like Jill is. Jill, you can get the, the shotgun extra early. Chris can't, unfortunately. No, no, don't push it on that side. And also, I'm playing it with classic controls. I haven't tried out the newer controls. <coughs> Because uh, I'm, I'm just more of a fan of playing this how it is, like playing it classic. And I remember this from, uh, no, don't push on it. There we go. Alright, get up there. You found a map of ma the mansion floor one, will you take it? Yes. There we go. Yes. Alright. I'm just gonna speed run this till I get to the next box. So, sorry people, it's just, I've, I've done this so many fucking times, like, for two characters, it's just, it's, I wanna get past this part. And I actually made more headway last night, so it was kinda disappointing when I found out with my recording software I couldn't fucking record this. But yeah, here's our first encounter. I'm gonna try to run away because I don't need to kill this fucking zombie. It's, it's honestly just a waste of ammo. One, two, three. Oh, come on. There we go. Wound him and get the fuck out. That's what you gotta do. Go, Chris, go. Be a coward. Be a coward all the way. It pays off to be a coward because you're fucking alive. That's why. So, yeah, now... We start heading out. And here we go, this is number three. This is number three and this time I know it's gonna work. Cause I just did a test recording of me just watching some fucking past WWE matches and it worked, so BAM! Rotate. We're just gonna fucking just go past all those slots. Ooh, 
love that, just in depth about the flame. We're not gonna pick that up because we don't need that right now. We'll need it later for another puzzle. But that'll be probably when we have all the keys. But um, over here we can just get ammo and other stuff where the zombie's blocking, but we're not gonna go there because it's just it's it's honestly not worth it. Not yet, until you get your uh, cantina filled with kerosene. And uh, with this game, how I actually really enjoyed this better than every other Resident Evil, that Crimson Heads were a thing. The only way that you can kill a Crimson Head is by shooting it enough times, but it's like a more, like, hardcore zombie. That's just kind of a piece of shit to deal with in general. Okay, that's a body I do need to burn later. Yeah, this is just, this is a super quick speed run. <clears throat> Good thing is, is I'm playing it on normal, I'm not playing it on hard. Just not really in the mood to play it on hard. There. And how I play this, I play this like old Silent Hills. Like, you know, where the kill counts actually mattered. Like, say if you killed a guy enough times, it would actually, like, determine your ending. Like Silent Hill Zero. Um, I kill the people that are in the way. And there's like three of those here, so I'll make like a super good fucking health kit. Combine, there we go. Look at that fucking wad of green. Boom. Oh yeah, and another thing is too. What you gotta... Yes, examining. Okay, and this is how you examine. Press Y. Go down here. Whatever your top button is on your controller. If you're playing on Xbox or if you're playing on PlayStation, it's the top button. Go to examine. Make sure you look over the weapon thoroughly. Or weapon whatever thoroughly. Like for this, it's like you can see. The arrowhead can actually come off. Remove it. Bam. Now you have just a miniature arrowhead. There, okay. Now, grab me that ammo clip. Ooh, god, it's so good. It, it's like, even though I'm still mad, it's like, I, I love, like, <clears throat> I love whoever voice acted the zombies, because they're really good. Like, that's like A++ fucking voice acting right there. Okay, so, another thing is, too, um, luring the zombies is probably the best of your options. Ooh, dagger, dagger, dagger. Actually, fucking, I did a little worse on this time than the other time. Last time when I played this, I completely just ducked that one zombie downstairs. And just didn't have a fucking problem with him. Like, he was fine. But, what can you do? Shit happens. This isn't my perfect playthrough like last playthrough was, <laughs> but it's all good. Shit happens. It's like I didn't fucking... Okay, we're, we're gonna juke him. Yeah, look at that. Fuck you. You're too slow. Just be like Sanic. You're too slow. Yeah, there we go. Now we're on down here. We already exhausted all of our options. Go outside. I like how they made the door seems a lot quicker. Like, that's something that I actually really did like. Like, the door scenes didn't take fucking forever to do. Oh my god, my nose is itchy. Sorry about that. Fuck, my nose is like itchy as fuck there. Didn't want to fucking shove my whole finger up my nose and just go like, oh, there we go. Just to shove the whole fucking thing in there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Since, like, classic game, you gotta... You gotta just fucking go into the menu and do it. So there, we just unlocked one puzzle. And then over here is another puzzle with the see no evil, hear no evil, whatever, no evil type challenge. And um, this is the book to get it. 
So, we take the Book of Curses. Now, examine the book, because examine every single thing you get. Let's see. Oh, look on the back. It's a key. It's a fucking key on the back. Yes, remove it. And see, now, we have a mansion key, but... <clears throat> the mansion key is a... Yes, four masks. Speak no evil. Mask that smells... Like, I didn't even know spell no evil was a thing. I know see, speak, and whatever is no evil, but I didn't think that that was one. <clears throat> Excuse me. But okay, whatever. I guess that's a thing. But I, what else I forgot to say was, um, no, not combined. There, examine. So we have the sword key, or the dagger key. That, like, other people corrected me on when I was, like, in a party. Like, just playing on my other version. Or, like, on my jail character. They were like, no, it's a dagger key, Movado. And it's like, no, actually, it's not. It's, it's called the sword key right here. But whatever, for, for whoever fancies what, I call it the sword key because it looks like a sword on, on the uh, on the thing. But there, now we have that done, we have more options and routes we can go take. Thankfully, we don't have to go where that one zombie is unless if we want to get ammo. And ammo I'm not too, like, hard off on. <coughs> Like, actually, my ammo supply is very good. I have 10 in the tent chamber, 30 in the... 30 in clip form. So, like, 30 bullets. Oh, here's my buddy Jesse. He got on. Cool. Yeah, my buddy Jesse got on. Sorry, it's a long time since I fucking talked to him. Or, like, actually seen him. So, that's, that's awesome, man. Right on. I should fucking see how he's doing later. But anyway, sorry, I'm I'm recording. Get back into the fucking. You're you're playing on this. No, just no reminiscing. Not allowed. <clears throat> Something that I think they added in this version that the the very first version didn't have was these. Their defense items. Chris gets the dagger and the grenade. Jill gets a stun stun baton or not not a baton but you, you guys know what I mean like a stun weapon like a uh, a stun gun and the daggers but the daggers are inter intertwined with both characters that's what I think is pretty cool but except for Chris um, if a zombie grabs onto you and you throw a grenade in their mouth their head will explode <clears throat> so it's really fucking cool like it's it's really awesome like how they did it too like uh, if you get grabbed he grabs a grenade punches the dude in the face and then like uh, like he keeps it in his mouth like it's really cool hopefully we do that because when I was playing uh, on the earlier LP before the 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 shit got fucked up, I did that and I lost my shit. I was like, oh, that's so cool. I even like Jill's is cool too, but it's it's I, I like the grenade better because it actually instantly kills the zombie. <clears throat> like it's an instant kill. With Jill's thing, it's just kind of stun them to run away from them. It's like the stun rod in Resident Evil Five. And I bet you guys are wondering, hey, why didn't you pick up the mansion key? I'll pick up the mansion key after when I actually get to the new area. Because it's it's just not worth carrying all this fucking crap on me right now. Let's see there. Now we have five ink ribbons. We're gonna probably have a total of eight. Since I remember I did this last time, I should have like a total of 8 ink ribbons and fairly decent ammo, because I think actually last time I forgot to pick up that clip behind the, uh, behind that shelf. So it's, it's good. Happy that I got it. Oops. 
so okay. It's gonna be a zombie right there. Not even gonna not even gonna fight him. We're just gonna walk away. And now, um Wow, this took 20 minutes. Oh, okay. I actually did it quicker last time. We're gonna have to fight the guys in here. So a strategy that I learned from a very good man uh, from two best friends. His name is Pat. Stay in, stay to a wall. That is your your best opportunity to get hits in because you know for a fact nobody's gonna try to come up behind you and just grab you or anything like that. And it's a very good strategy, like for the classic Resident Evil games like this. Because you know that nobody's gonna come try and fucking grab you. There we go. Eight ink ribbons, so... We'll save after. I'll do some senseless, like, running around and shit. Like, after when I end the video. So you guys don't get bored and you're like, Oh, why is he just running around picking stuff up? So it's easier to do, like, my way that I'm doing. There. And then right here, this is gonna be your best tool. Kerosene. And you'll see why. You filled your cantina with kerosene. You can only get two things of kerosene, so make them count. That's what I suggest. So, alright. Oh no, fucking son of a bitch. Nice try. Bam. Fuck, I'd love fucking two best friends to do a thing of this. Something just to, to talk about with you guys out there. If you're a fan of two best friends, let me know too, because I am. There we go. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, it burns the body to make them not be like a crimson head. And that is the most important part about this game, is making sure the zombies that you killed stay dead. Like, there's actually an achievement called, uh, Better Be Sure. Or something like that. Oh no, I'm reloading. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, just back up, back up, back up nice and slow. There we go. No, fuck that, no. Follow my own advice. Just sit here and wait. Boom, headshot! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Fuck you, zombie. That's what I'm fucking talking about. And, um... The good thing is, if you nail a headshot, they stay dead. That's the best part about it. And I'll probably end the video in a couple more minutes, but... Um, we're gonna pick up the valuable shit right now, so you guys won't over, over mess it or whatever. In this room, we have to find... Um... Yeah, we have to find a dog whistle. Where, uh, Spencer's dog has this, like, coin on its collar. So pretty much what you have to do, you have to kill the dog. Like, you, you blow the whistle, like, multiple dogs come, you kill the dog, and then you have a part of a key. And you guys can just read that, because I've, I've read it three times, I'm not fucking reading it again. I've, I've seen it, like, way too many times. I'm saying, like, in the past three days... So it's just like, no, <laughs> it's just not reading it again. I will be ignorant as fuck and not read it. Because, you know, fuck it. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry. No, it's not happening. And then this is a mounted thing that I still haven't used yet. Maybe it, it helps for the thing out in the, in the dining room. But, who knows? Since I'm not Jill, I can't hold fucking eight things in my inventory. That's the downside, and that's another reason why she's technically carried through the game. She's carried because she has more spaces, and she gets a shotgun easier, and it's just, um... Yeah, it's just, I think, overall kinda easier. Like, Chris's campaign was kind of a challenge. Like, not a hard challenge, but a challenge, nonetheless. Oh yeah, and also, drop that survival knife, so not- 
the survival knife is a waste of fucking time. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. And I'll come back for that after, because I'm actually gonna make some mixed herbs right now, and to make sure that you guys don't forget them or not know where they are, I'll run to each spot and do it. So there, one right there. And also, too, I suggest before you head to any new area or anything, make sure you collect all these items if you can. It just makes your job a little easier. Because there are, like, different parts of the mansion that you go to. And I don't know if the front room is technically still the hub. Like, your, your hub point, like Majula or what have you. There we go. Perf. Perfect. There we go. Now I have a first aid tech technicality. It's a first aid spray. Where it's, or like, it's a first, first aid thing, but that's the best one you can get. If you can get a red and a green one, it'll let you have a good time. Yeah, it'll let you have a right good time. And then I can make a two green one that heals you pretty good too. But see, that's what I'm trying to do. It's like I'm wanting to get all my ducks in a row before I start. Alright, let's put the mixed herbs together. Yeah, I know this part off by heart now. And thankfully, um, like, you can only have, um, three shots at a kerosene container. So you, you gotta do it, like, you, you gotta make sure that you do it correct the first time, you know what I mean? And also, if you have one kerosene, um, don't go back and refill your tank. That'll fuck you up. Use both of the kerosenes. Doesn't even care how long you have to wait. I suggest just using them both Don't grab the extra because that fucks you out of one kerosene and that's not good for a thing on this game Like I did that like just to test it out and see it and it, it fucked me It fucked me royally. It wasn't like it wasn't good at all like it, it sucked I actually need to restart my Jill file uh, my Jill file because of it there we go. Perfect. And the difference between Jill and Chris, Chris has a lighter automatically equipped to him. And uh, Jill has the lock picking tool. They're both very good for their own things. Because um, Chris just has to find mansion keys and Jill just needs to hold the lighter in her inventory. But she doesn't have to worry about it because she has eight. She has eight inventory slots. <laughs> But, um, but I think Chris's one's actually, I, I feel kind of better. I know that there'd probably be people that would argue about it and say, No, the, the fucking, the lockpick's the best Movado, you're wrong. But, you know, it's those their fucking own. I feel the lockpick's good, but I hate having to give up that inventory slot. Like, even though it's not a lot, you know, it's, it's still, it's still an inventory slot. I don't... You know, ah, it's just not a fan. But it's not saying that I don't like Jill's campaign. Her campaign's fun and easy, but yeah. Perfect. Okay, and we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna unlock all the doors and yeah. Thankfully my ammo is at 60. That's a very good, good amount of ammo. And we'll come back for this after. I want to just open, like, I want to make sure everything's open and good. 
So when I want to, like, get to just running to places and, um... <clears throat> usually before I even, you know, get on this and do this, it's, um... I take, like, a couple minutes after I'm done recording just to make sure everything's good. Like, with, um... Just making it as easy as possible to just get to place to place. So we're gonna run here. And then we need one more place to go to. But you know what? Did I open this? Yes, I did. We're gonna burn the guy's body in this room because... Um, there is an instant crimson head that spawns, and honestly, it's just, it's not worth fighting two fucking crimson heads here. It's not. It's, it really fucking sucks. It is, honestly, the worst thing when you're stuck in the hallway with two of them. Like, with one, I can kill them. Kill, killing one is easy. It's easy than fucking really anything. But when you have a bunch of them jumbled up together, it sucks because they run quick and they hit like Mack trucks. That's the worst part about it. Oh wait, I gotta turn around. Got flip turned upside down. Alright. There we go. But yeah, sorry guys that I'm a little, uh, a little pissed off, but I'm still getting some wicked headway with this. Like, everything's turning out good. Oh, come on, Chris. Get your fucking lumbering ass around there. Guy downstairs, he's gonna be kind of a problem. I'm just gonna hope that I can headshot him, and if I can't, then I'll go back and get kerosene. You're a little fucker. Just gonna move right here. Get back up, you son of a bitch. Is he? Is he dead? Is he? Yep, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, like, see, right here, this is the worst fucking room to have a crimson head. It is the absolute worst. Mansion key is not useful anymore. Discard. There. And this room, this room sucks, too. Like, a lot of these areas that Chris goes into... They're not good because, um, oh, it's just, it's, it's bad. Like, it just, it turns out, like, really bad. 75 bullets. Because, see, it's like, we got this guy. We got this guy that I'm probably going to try to headshot. It probably won't work, so... I kind of don't want to waste my ammo, but fuck it. Yep, no, it doesn't work. Can we take another old key? Yeah, sure, give me an old key. And see, this is one of the parts of the game that I really enjoy because you can't get out. The zombie's just coming over and he's gonna fuck your shit up. Oh, come on. 
That was bad. I was looking at the time. Leave me alone, Zambo. There we go. You see, it always pays off to be a coward. Just, just run away from all this shit. It's there. Thankfully, I don't have to go down there for now. There's his fucking dead body. Yeah, I need to go get some kerosene. Okay, so that's something I need. And then the board mount I'm gonna need. And I need that too. Fuck, like, the, the, the spaces. Spaces suck. Oh, and, and that's why, because I have a fucking save thing here. Alright, but whatever. I did good for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Resident Evil LP start of it. Because, uh, yeah, it, it's been kind of a pain in the ass to start. Chris has just had enough with it. He's just moving around. Super mad. But yeah, I guess we're gonna save, because that's... I, I have the fucking... Like, I can just run back here and get everything all good to go for next time so yeah uh yeah just thank you all for watching i'll be back in the next episode